them my world, get my purpose Show them that we real for real, we ain't rehearse it Gonna go through it, but nobody is perfect I never said that, but baby girl, you worth it Hey y'all, what's good? It's your girl Michelle, and today we're back with another vlog. Today I'm in the house. Happy Thursday to everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's feeling good. I hope everybody woke up with good energy, put it out into the world because so much bad has been happening. But I woke up today feeling blessed because my kids are here with me. My kids are healthy. My husband is here with me. Just got out the shower. Your girl worked out. I told y'all I'm on this workout journey, so I worked out. I got me a little Nike little fit on. Y'all see me trimming down? Look, look, trimming down. I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm getting there, so progress. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm being really strict on myself with what I'm eating. And this workout thing has really been working out really good for me so far. So that's, that's one thing. Another thing is I've been really taking time to eat better, eat well, drink a lot of water, and really take care of myself. But... We're gonna see what babe's doing right now, cause babe. What's up, baby? What you doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on in them family on the box? Okay, babe's in here deveining the shrimp. For like, you know, dinner, lunch, something like that, some light. Yeah. So one of the stores that we go to to get our seafood was closed down for like a couple of weeks, and we were going through it. You hear me? We don't eat seafood too, too, too much, but we do like it once in a while. And today I wanted to make some um, shrimp broccoli Alfredo. So babe went to go get, you got a half a pound or a whole, or a pound? You do a little bit over there. Oh yeah, that's extra? Yeah, a yeah bit. the guy that works at the um, seafood spot, he likes us, so he always gives us extra. So we gonna make some seafood, we gonna make some shrimp Alfredo today. Um, last time we made, what did I make last time? I forgot what I made last time that was with the Alfredo stuff and you guys told me to make it homemade, but I still don't know how to make it homemade. And again, being that my stomach can't handle all of like, you know, certain things, I can't just put all that creamer and all that stuff like that. So we just stick to the basics. And this is the brand that, that we like. It's classical, creamy Alfredo. But anybody knows any gluten-free or any like organic Alfredo sauce that they do sell in stores, please comment that down below because I was looking for that today. I know, I've said it on my live before. I have some digestive issues. If you're new here, you probably don't know, but I have stomach issues, so I have to be careful with what I eat and stuff like that. So I need stuff that has like no dairy, cheese, all that stuff, but everything we eat has it in it. So I'm looking for sauces that are like dairy-free, gluten-free or whatever, that still tastes like the original taste. He forgot the freaking, um, he forgot the fettuccine noodles, so thankfully I got some rotini. Listen, noodles is noodles. So I got that, and then he got some Instead of getting some fresh broccoli, which I know we should have had fresh broccoli, he got some broccoli broccoli florets because when you have three kids, you gotta cook fast and you just wanna make meals that are quick and easy and it doesn't take a lot of time out of you. So did you get garlic bread, honey? Garlic. Babe! All right, so we were supposed to have garlic bread. Listen, as long as they got something to eat, that's about, that's, we gonna, we gonna make, make it work. Happen. We gonna make it work. So Babe's been trying to be on his health food way too, guys. Well, and y'all know Eddie likes soda and Eddie don't eat good. But, he has been trying these like um, Amy's made with organic wheat and basil and it's like pesto tortellini. The one that I got was like um, cheddar, cheddar macaroni and cheese with um, broccoli. broccoli. And then there was one that I had gotten with kale, but wait, there's more. I got you one too for yourself. Oh, you got me some kale? Yeah, it's in there, it's in there. Let's see what else we got in the freezer. Let's see what we got in the freezer. Oh, okay, I see it. This one is country cheddar, pasta, broccoli, and potatoes. This looks good. Let me know. Comment down below if you guys have tried this brand by Amy's. And let us know some other ones. I know we shouldn't really be doing like the whole frozen food thing. But again, when you're busy, you have kids, and you're on the go, it's easy to just pop it in the microwave and keep it moving. Don't get me wrong. Y'all know I like to cook. But sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. You just don't feel like doing it. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for it. Our schedules are hectic. Let me know what y'all eating for dinner tonight. Comment that down below. And when y'all gonna invite us over for dinner? So I ain't got a couple of time. That's a funny. Hi, my sunny bunny. You watching shows? He loves to watch cartoons. That's his new thing. So we set him up with this just so he can be quiet because you know how he gets. Hi, son. Are you gonna say hi? Are you gonna say hi to everybody? 
Give me those little baby feet. Who else loves baby feet? I swear, I love baby feet. They are the cutest and the most precious things ever. That's my son. So, guys, I have something to share with you guys. Okay, guys, so we got some exciting news to tell you about Juju. Our son is officially ready to be potty trained, okay? He's ready. He's ready. Listen, right. he... For the last couple of days, he has been taking his diaper off. Like, mm. literally free balling, swinging, just letting it all out. And the girls, his sisters are like, Justice! He's been peeing all over. Look, all you see is little pee-pee puddles all around the house. He does not want the diaper on. That's my boy. So, Daddy went out and bought him his first potty. We got him his first potty, and we got him some some Pole Patrol um, some training pants. Some, some training, training undies. So, I don't know how this is going to go. This is all new for me because, you know, I'm used to just having girls. But I don't know how to do all of that because I don't stand up. <laughs> so, I'm so excited to see how he's going to do. I got the little guy here. But, yeah, so that has been an, another thing that's been exciting for us this week. Juju's ready to go to the potty. He's ready. And, and Daddy's excited to do that as well. Be at the, be at the... What are you doing? In my room. Making TikToks. As always. What is so exciting about TikToks? Y'all, they got me. I'm not even going to lie. They got me hooked on these TikToks. You post a lot. But you whose fault is it? Not mine. Say hi to the squad. Hi, in the fam. So, why don't you do something more productive? Did you do your homework today? Yeah. Did you do your reading? Yes. I did my reading, my math, and I'm supposed to study your science. Okay. So, I guess you can go on TikTok for a little bit. Mm -hmm. There was a dance we were trying to do yesterday. What was it? It was like that Jamaican. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice to do these TikToks. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I know I got skills, but when your body's a little older, it don't move and groove like it used to. So, Lyric definitely got me back to wanting to dance again. Before, when I was dancing on stage, I mean, as a dancer stage, I was so nervous. But you killed I was it. In the front. You killed that, though, yeah. Lyric. You killed that. You're a really good dancer. And my dance teacher, she won super fast. So, I had to catch up. But you got that skill. Where's Mia at? She playing? Yeah. We're making out. Oh, I'm making shrimp alfredo tonight. Yay. Even as for Lyric, me is more of a picky eater, but Lyric has been eating smoothies every day. So tonight for dessert, we're gonna have a chocolate banana smoothie, but we're gonna use the chocolate almond milk instead of um, you know regular milk. So and delicious. you ate kale too. I eat avocados. I eat everything. Yeah, but when she ate the avocado, she almost threw up. So that was a fail. No, it's because. It, it is too mushy. It is. Mia, she, on the other hand, we're struggling with her because she does not like much of anything unless it's sweet. She's just like her father. Yeah, let's, well, that's let's go see. Good. Let's go see what your sister's doing. Let's go see. She's too quiet. Hi, my beauty. Hi, mom. What you doing? I'm playing with my toys. Playing with your toys? Yeah. Your LOL dolls? Yeah. All right, guys. So Mia has this thing with Beanie Boos. You know, like the little um, stuffed animals. She collects them. I used to collect them, too. So she collects the Beanie Boos, her LOL dolls. Everything is... Show them your glamper. I am. So what is this? It's the LOL surprise card. She has it so bad. Now, I know I told y'all to comment down below, but if you're new to this channel, if you have little girls, comment down below what toys they're into right now. All my kid cares about is LOL dolls and LOL dolls. Comment down below if your kids used to play with slime. Um, slime. Elsa. Elsa. Yeah, Elsa was, no, but slime was bad. How bad is it that I made you guys? <laughs> slime is no longer allowed at our house. Why, Larry? It's not really my fault. It is your fault. <laughs> so, I used to make slime like a lot, every single day, every moment. Slime is my everything. And I have like this big container, full of containers that I put slime inside of. And I had it downstairs where we have like our bikes and everything. Yeah. And then bugs got into it. It was disgusting. I don't know how. It was disgusting. But I don't know how. Because she left all of the stuff and she didn't cover it. And bugs, it was, I said, next time y'all want to do slime, you better do it outside. And But yeah, I'm not even buying it anymore. It was bad. I was buying slime kits. But I heard it's not good for your hands. It's not good for your hands. It was money wasted. And slime was on the couches. Slime was on the bed. And it was, it, yeah. Who wants to come and clean up for us? Mm. You want to clean up? No. I'll give you five dollars. Five dollars if you clean up the whole living room, the bathroom. If I, I'll clean up if, the whole house. If I clean up the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room, and my bedroom, I'll give you. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a lot. How about five? No. Cranky, cranky, crank monster. Um. Yeah. Juju, why are you not talking? 
What? What? What are you saying? Babe, you still Whoa. cleaning the shrimp? Shrimp gumbo, shrimp soup, shrimp toast, shrimp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here till tomorrow. It takes forever, but we don't have the right um knife. You need a smaller knife, babe. Nah, we gotta go. See, y'all know I don't like touching the meat and all that, so he cleans them. These look good already. What about you guys? What kind of... Can you eat shellfish? Can you guys eat shellfish? Are you allergic? A lot of people are allergic to shellfish. Yeah, they are. You know. Let us know what's your favorite um, seafood restaurant to go to. I know you guys know. You probably have this everywhere. Red Lobster is always number one. But I feel like the last time we went to Red Lobster, we had gotten some, I think it was a crab legs or a lobster tail. Lobster stuff. tail. And it tastes so seafoody, like fishy, yeah. that we got so grossed out. We spent over like $200. We got like the whole seafood platter and it was very disappointing. Ooh. Also, if you're from New York City, then you already know about City Island. Mom, he got me to little. Take it. Just got into my eyeliner, oh y'all. Oh my god, Justin! Just got into my makeup. I don't know how. I have to put everything up. See? Just this. But yeah, like I was saying, if you guys live in New York City, then you know about C um, City Island. Where are some other seafood spots that you can t recommend? Taste of Seafood. Taste of Seafood? Where's that at? It's, it's, in, it's in East Hall. Comment down below some places that we should try if we're in other states or whatever that, that we, you, sh you could recommend us because a lot of where we live at in our town, we don't really have that much. So we have to travel way yonders yep. to get to where, you know, to get good food or whatever. So, y'all, let me tell y'all. So I got, I forgot that I had this. I wouldn't call it like a waist trainer belt, but it's similar to it. But it, it's kind of like a back brace because when my back be acting up, I use this for support. But I also was putting it on to actually help me work out and to like sweat to lose some inches. So you guys should definitely check that out if you don't have one of those. I got it from Five Below. Swing that around. Wait. Listen here. It's not about her losing I'm trying weight. to get the waist snatched. She can do what she got to do. She can do what she needs to. But she don't need to. I'll but I want work. to. And they know that. And I'm all in support of it. Whatever you want to do to enhance yourself as long as we're not doing no cutting, no chopping. No, he, no I'm Dr. getting the Miami camera off of him. Right. No Dr. Miami. I'm trying to do this the natural way. I don't knock anybody who wants to pay for it. Honestly, it's the easier way and nobody wants to like really take the time to do it. I get it. But I'm nervous of like all the things that can go wrong. So I do want to try to do it the natural way. And so far, so good. It's literally been about a week or so and I can see a difference already in my stomach you know what i mean it's just a little bit of extra baby fat but it's you can see that my stomach is so what i'm trying to do is get the stomach down and i'm trying to get that but donkey dunk up okay stomach down but don't you dunk up so i'm trying to eat some more protein so i can get thicker in the areas that i want to and get rid of that pouch that kangaroo pouch no more gotta go Gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hate. Write my name at ice. Can't argue with this. I just raise my price. I'm a boss. I'm a. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. I got that. I'm a savage. This is all they do. What? And you riding your train? You riding your train? Nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. If you guys have any recommended healthy snacks that we can have, just comment them down below so that we can all be a healthy, happy family. Okay. Ice cream. Well, yeah, but I got some fruit bars, so I want you to try that instead of eating the chocolate ice cream. Look at this one. I'm not. I already take soda. No, you can't. You're just like that. You ain't getting no soda. You better drink some water. She doesn't even like soda. She doesn't like soda. I don't know why she's capping. That's juice. Where's your water? But me, no, Mia, you do really well because you drink a lot of water. To be six years old, I'm really proud. Look what he did. Look. Give me my lipstick. Give me my lipstick. Give me my lipstick. Look. Give me my lipstick. Look. He took my... Get Look. Tantrums. Because he can't have my lipstick. Hey, hey, hey. Look what he did. So he goes from the my lipstick to taking his sister's juice. No. Really, Justice? This is this is the stage that he's at. He's drinking like right. Thank you. Can I have it? Can mommy have it? He's not giving it away. You know you is not. Can I have it? Look at that shrimp. 
Look at that shrimp. Mm. Make bussin'. sure you hold it still so it's... It's bussin'. Smelling good up in here. Oh. The butter. I put Obey seasoning if you don't know what that is. This is what you want to use when you make seafood. It gives it really good taste. And garlic. The butter is almost boiling. So now I'm going to just take the steam, the steam fresh broccoli florets. And I'm just going to put that in there with that. Because I already cooked it in the microwave. Whoa. Mm. Let all the juices from the, the garlic, the butter, and the obey get onto the broccoli. And you just let that cook because the shrimp is already done. Once the noodles get done, I'm going to put the noodles in here. We're going to put the noodles in here. And then after that, I'm just going to add the sauce. And then you just mix it all together like so. The kids just left. Now it's just me and babe. Finally, some yeah. us time that we never get. He hates when I squeeze his butt. But yeah, so we're just gonna kick it, chill. And, um, eat swell, have some good eats. Make sure you guys are eating good too. It's very Got important you. to feed our bodies and eat well with all this crap going on. Mm. Make sure you take your vitamins. Stay stress free, stay sucker free. Don't worry about all the unnecessary drama. Live your best life, cause you already know, life is short. We always good. talk about that. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you turn on them post notifications. So what, you get notified every single time that we drop another one of our vids. That's it. Make sure to follow Eddie on his YouTube channel. Make sure to follow me on my YouTube channel. Follow us on all our other social medias. We'll put that in the description down below. And we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you guys in our next vlog.